Hi there guys, Sam here and welcome to the fourth part of the Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a little while since I've made an update here. A lot of things have been happening in the past week. Searching for a job, doing a Let's Play with the guys for Team Rage Quit, and a lot of other things. But hopefully now I'll be able to update regu regularly again and get back to the old schedule that I had. Anyway, part four. Today we're going to be doing some mining and I have some objectives that I want to do. I want to find coal, iron, gold, and if I can, diamond, emerald, lapis lazuli, and even redstone. Now since it's been a little while since the last time I did anything, there has been a few changes to the house. Back here is something I'm going to be looking into in part 5. And you may have noticed, I have a dog now. Hello there. I have named him Squiggles, and I obtained him when I was... Well, well, I was actually building that back part off screen. I'm going to quickly tell you how to get a pet dog just before we start this Let's Play properly. Now if you've got bones, you can actually find these wolves roaming around in the wild. You've probably actually seen them back and forth when I've been doing these Let's Plays in the previous parts. But if you've got bones and you walk up to a dog and right click the dog when you've got a bone, obviously right now it's not going to do anything because he's already under well, he's already been tamed by me. But, when you right-click a dog with a bone, two things will happen. You'll either see a cloud of dust, which means the bone didn't do anything, or a bunch of love hearts will appear. Sorry, I'm getting some more lag. Anyway. If a bunch of love hearts appear, then the dog is yours. If it's a... If it's... Ah, oh, look at that. He's still in his wee head. He's curious. Anyway. If a cloud of dust appears around the dog, you need to keep feeding him bones until the love hearts appear. And once the dog's under your command, you right click him, you can stand up, he'll follow you around. Or, if you don't want him to follow you, come over here. Come here, Squiggles. Come here. Squiggles. No, get off my bed. Get off the bed. Damn it. Get off the bed. Sit. If you right click him again, he'll sit, and he won't move anywhere. If you don't want to put your dog in any hazardous situations, make sure he's sitting down and he won't follow you anywhere. If you do take a dog with you, they will attack any enemies that try to attack you. Anyway, now to get to the point of this let's play. Mining. Let's go! Alright, we're back and we have found our cave to explore today, so let's dive right in. And right off the bat, we have gold, so we can scratch that off the list. Oh! And we found iron, so we have actually been able to scratch two items off the objective list already. Coal and iron have now been obtained. That only leaves gold and some of the optional materials. Emerald, diamond, lapis lazuli, and redstone. Now, I've probably told you this before, but I'm just going to quickly go over it again. You can mine coal with any kind of uh, pickaxe tool, whether it be wood, stone, iron or diamond. So it's one of the more easier to come by materials. Iron you can only mine with stone, iron uh, and diamond. Uh, when it comes to... sorry, <laughs> I really need to stop going oh, oh, sounds like I'm a complete idiot. Anyway, gold you can only mine with iron so it's a good thing I'm packing an iron pickaxe with me already. And diamond can also be mined with iron as well. You can make a gold pickaxe, but trust me, it's not worth it. Gold materials and gold tools, they're really just for show. Now I'm going to... I'm going to try and ignore the coal, because I've already got enough of that already. So I'm going to mine whatever iron I find. And hopefully, we'll be able to find some gold. Now obviously when you're exploring a cave you will need to expect a lot of mobs because it is pitch dark down here. And the deeper you go, the more things you'll find. And also the rarer things that you'll find. Now, you'll also find these little water streams down here as well. They can be a bit troublesome. And it's led me to a dead end. Now to stop a water streak, it's kind of easy to do. Let me just break this first. Now it's a mitten. It's a mitten. It's a mitten from there. So we'll just block that up, and the water will stop. Put the iron up there. Shit. 
So as I was saying, be prepared to go into combat when you're exploring these caves. Mobs will pop out from anywhere. Even when you blow up an area, they somehow still manage to come back. It's going to be quite weird sometimes. And there's our first zombie. Come here, though. Fucker. Come here. Now, if I don't find any other materials in this cave, I will go and try and find another one. Just because sometimes caves don't go as deep as you hope them to, and I think that's actually happening here. Damn it! Alright, so that cave abruptly ended, so we're going to try and find another one. This could be the only problem when it comes to caves. They're very unreliable. Some of them can stretch on for ages, while other ones just end abruptly. Uh, this could take a little while. Hmm. This looks a little promising. Let's investigate. Let me see if this is going to go deeper. Please. I think we might find our next cave. This definitely looks... Oh my god! No! No! Ugh! Whew. Thank God for that. Okay, let's press on. Hopefully we'll be able to find gold. Now this is a much better looking cave. Much more promising here. Whoa! And we have a zombie villager! Shit! I will use you as a shield! Come here, you skeleton fucked hard. This is the kind of caves you're wanting to be looking for. Ones that have a lot of branching off paths. My god, this actually has a lot of branching off paths. Lava! Now, normally I would tell you to avoid lava, but if you're lucky, lava is usually a good sign that you're going to be getting closer to rarer materials, such as gold and diamond. I thought I saw emerald there for a second. But always be sure to look behind you, because you never know when there's going to be an enemy behind you. Close off those. And also, here's a little tip. When you're exploring a cave this size, be sure to leave your torches in a good pattern so that you'll know how to find your way out. You will not believe how many times I've went down into a cave and gotten lost. And trust me, the last thing you want to do is to get lost in one of these caves. I don't need any of this material. Also, it helps to bring a crafting table with you. Now, I didn't do that, but I've got enough wooden blocks there in order to make one. Just mine some of this extra iron. I know I need to get looking for that gold. But every little bit of iron counts. Stupid bats. Come here. Knocked in my torch. Bats won't really do anything. They're just more of a nuisance. Even when you kill them, you don't even get anything. They don't drop anything, as far as I'm concerned. Or as far as I know. Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to say much in this part. It's just mining. That's basically it. I'm just mining. Nothing to do with combat. It's nothing to do with how to craft weapons. I'm just showing you the different materials that you can use. And you can get. Iron's probably going to be one of the more useful, t uh, useful materials you can use. Along with stone. Stone and iron and wood. And eventually oh, fuck, more lag, god damn it. And eventually when you find it, diamond. Gold, as I said before, it's not really that much useful as a material to use tools with. But it makes for a good decoration piece, I guess. Kind of on torches as well. So always be sure to bring extra materials with you so you can craft more shit. Yes! We can now strike gold off the block. Go off the block. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
scratch gold off the list, everybody. We have just found it. And that's all the main objectives. So, I'm going to try and delve into the optional ones now. See if we can find diamond. Now, the useful thing about lava is that it's a natural source of light, but it's still incredibly dangerous. I don't want to touch it. So, let's see if I can utilize this lava to my advantage. There we go. I'll we'll just make some of that away. So now we've got a natural source of light that we can use. Okay, so we've got our coal, we've got our iron, and we've got our gold. Now, we're going to keep pressing on and see if we can find diamonds. Shit. Ah, this is the bad... What's this time to have lag? I do believe I just heard an enderman. Wait! I know I found an enderman in one of the last parts. Where is he? Where is he? Enderman, oh my god. We have found an underground ravine. Well, oh my god. And right down there, ladies and gentlemen, we have found diamonds. You might not be able to see it, but I have, and we're going down for it. Right there. Right there. Yes! You have to build my own stairway down to the bottom. We've found it now. Diamond. Please see, there's quite a few. Yes! Look at all this! Look at that! Four bits of diamond, everybody. Yes! So we can now scratch that off of the optional list. And I found diamond before I found lapis lazuli. Or even... Redstone for that matter. That's not normal for me. Anyway. I'm gonna press on for a little bit more. See what else we can find in this ravine. Ravines are always a good thing to look for by the way. They generally hold a lot of good stuff in them. Because they expose so much. <laughs> expose. Also. I know I'm doing this but this isn't really a good thing to do. Try not to mine underwater. It cuts down your mining speed tremendously. Plus, there's also that chance that you're going to drown. Let's look down here. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, yes, I found more! More diamonds and redstone! Yes! Guys, we are having a wonderful run of luck today. Let's just hope it doesn't come crashing down. Can't see anything that way. I am very happy right now. I have never had this much stroke of luck when it comes to mining diamonds before. Now, just need to go and get that redstone. Stupid water. Oh, we found obsidian. That will be coming in useful later. Now this will be the most nerve-wracking part for anybody that's a Minecraft player. Having to mine stuff close to the lava. We can quickly deal with that though. Covering some of that up. Even then I'm still going to be a little cautious. If I balls this up now, I'm going to be raging. Found quite a lot of stuff that we had on the checklist. Whoa! What the skeleton? No, I'm not. Come here, you. Ugh. I 
And my sword just broke. Shit. Alright, re-equipped. Now let's explore some more of this ravine. We still have Lapis Lazuli and Emerald to find. Now Emerald's going to be one of the hardest to find because that generates anywhere. There isn't any real set point that uh, Emeralds will spawn. Because every bit of ore in this game has, le has a set location. Well, not... It's not really set, I guess. There's just a certain level that will start to spawn. Now, I'm not entirely too certain about... Uh, God damn it, I need to stop saying... Uh, 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 this. I'm like a stupid idiot. Anyway, I'm not entirely too sure what the values are for when certain materials and ores will start spawning. I've gotten lag. Next to lava. No. Oh my god. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Sometimes the best thing to do when you've got a crap load of good stuff is to head back home and stash it away. Because the last thing you want to happen is to balls up and die when you've got all of this important stuff. Which way was home? Shit. Well guys, I finally found the torches leading home. So I'm gonna end this part here. Sorry it wasn't that exciting or... Well... Funny in any way. It really was just down to showing you what kind of materials you can get. And... Just mining in general. It's really what the game is about, isn't it? So, had to show it off. Anyway, next time, in part 5, I will be showing you how to survive off the land. And by that, I'll show you how to make a farm, and how to use animals to your advantage. So, thank you for watching, and see you next time.